and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at downloading and installing python on linux mint this should also work on pop os ubuntu debian all of the these ubuntu and debian based distros should work fairly similar and you can just follow along so first of all Let's create a little Python file that we can actually use. So here I opened up my file manager. We can just say create, no, create folder. Why not? We can call this code. In this folder, we can create a new file and we can call this main.py. And then we can right click and you can just say open with text editor or any text editor you have. And all you need to say is print hello world file save and then you can close this make sure to save before you close this otherwise this might not work as expected all right so now we have this file if you right click here you can say open in terminal and that will open it in your terminal if you do not have that option you can open up your terminal manually go ls and you should see your code folder right there if you did what I did and just open up your file manager, create new folder and you didn't do anything extra. If you see that, you say CD code. When you say Alice, you should see a main.py. Another way to do this is by going up here where your file is, right clicking, and then to say copy. And I will copy the path to this folder and then to say CD and then paste that in there and you should still be in the same folder with your main.py. All right, once you're here, we can install Python. First, do a sudo apt update. This will update all of your repositories so you have the latest version of any packages you might want. I might also recommend you doing a sudo apt upgrade to update any packages you might have. And let me also just increase the size of this a little bit so we can actually see what's going on. All right, so we did a sudo apt update. Now you can all other go sudo apt upgrade. There's an optional step. You don't have to do that. And once you've done that, you can say apt search Python free. And here you'll see all of the versions of Python you can get. So here you get Python free and I will just get any version of Python. You can specifically get Python version 11. As you can see there, you can specifically get Python version 10. You are not limited to anything here. Now to download Python, you can say sudo apt install Python. And here you can either specify the version of Python you want. So if you want for version 11, you go dot 11. I'm just going to say free and we can also do Python free dash TK because you'll notice here we have Python free dot 11 dash TK. TK is a UI or user interface library that you can use to create windows with. And 90% of you, if you're new to Python, you're going to want to use that. However, it's not required to install this TK version here. But take note, if this is Python version 3, make sure this is Python version 3. If this is Python version 3.11, make sure this is Python version 3.11. I am just going to say Python 3 and it can get any version of Python 3 for me. Now we just do that, we press enter. And here it says, I already have Python 3 installed. So in my case, I don't need to install it. However, it will install TK for me, which is used to create these UI libraries. Now you can just press enter and it will install Python and Python TK for you. Once you're here, you can just say Python. You can either say Python, but in a lot of cases, you'll have to say Python free specifically. And if you want to specify a specific version, you say dot, and then you specify the version you want to use. In my case, I have Python version 3.10. So I can either specify that or I can just specify Python version 3 and it will automatically assign Python version 10 to this command. And you put your main.py here. Now, when you press tab, it will autocomplete for you like that. If you do make a typo like MX and you 
tab and nothing happens, it means that file doesn't exist. You might have a typo or be in the wrong folder. But when we go like this, we get pi main.py. When we click enter, you should see hello world. If you've seen this, you have successfully installed Python and can now run any Python code from your terminal. And hello, my Arch Linux user master race. So you want to install Python on your Arch Linux machine. That is pretty simple. So let's open up our file manager. We go here, we create a new folder. We call it code or Python or whatever you want to call this folder. Next up, you go into that and right here on the top, you'll notice there's a path. You can just copy that path. And then before we go anywhere, we just create an empty file called main.py. And this is going to be our Python file we're going to use to test to see if Python is installed. All right. So then here we open up our terminal. This path we copied up here, we say CD and then in double quotes, we paste that. So we paste and you should see something like this. Press enter. If you type LS, you should see main.py. All right. Now we can install Python. So sudo pacman, which is your package manager, dash S, which means install or SY, which means install and or update your repositories and SYU, which means update and install or just update. But we'll just be saying S because I already have everything updated and we can just say Python. And I already have it installed, so it's going to warn me we're going to reinstall it. But that doesn't matter. You just say yes and it will install Python. Once it is done, you can just say Python main.py. However, note if I say pyth and I press tab, it will actually auto complete it for me. Now you might also want to say Python version three or even 3.11. I'm just going to say Python because that's what I like to use, but you can say Python free or Python free dot and whatever version you have. I'll just say Python. And if you go MA, then tab, it should autocomplete main.py. If you have multiple files, it might not autocomplete this for you. When you press enter, nothing will happen. But if we open up this Python file, so here's a text editor, I'll open it up with that. We can just say print hello world. Now if we say file, we say save and we run this code, you'll see hello world. And in here we have hello world. If you see that Python has been installed and you can follow along with this course. So all we need to do is we need to open up our file manager. In this case files. Then here we create a new folder and we can just call it code, Python, whatever you want. When you go in there, we can create a new file, which we actually don't have an option here. So I'm going to do that inside of the terminal. Okay. But now once we're here, you can say either open in terminal and that will open this folder up in the terminal, or you can go here and you can copy location, open up the terminal and just say CD and then in quotes, paste that path. If you go like that, you'll be in the same path. If you go PWD, you should see something similar to this. All right, let me just increase the size of this here. So we don't struggle seeing anything. Now to create the file, we can say touch main.py. This will create a Python file for us. If we right click on it, we can say open with text editor. And here we can just write print hello world. 
Now you save this file, make sure to save it. You can save it by clicking on this here and saying save or control S. It's very important that you save this file. If you don't, you're going to have trouble. Once you've saved this file, you can go back to your terminal and you can say DNF search Python. DNF is your package manager. Search means search for the package Python. And now we'll search to see if we can find Python. Finally, once it has done all of that, you can go here and see which Python you want. Most of these are unimportant. In our case, we can just scroll up and here we see once it starts with Python, you're good to go. So here, if we look at all of this, we have Python version three. And this should actually be more than enough. So we can just see here, it says Python free, DNF install Python free. So you want to have this there. Once you press enter, it should install Python free if you use sudo. And here it actually says Python free is already installed. In your case, it might not be already installed and it will go on and install it. Just go through the process. It might ask you if you're sure, just press Y and it will install the Python program for you. Once it is installed, we are still inside of that folder. If you type ls, your main.py, the file we have here should still be there. If not, go back to this folder. Remember, you can just say open a terminal if you might have lost it. Then once you're here, you can just say Python. And you can say either Python, Python free, or Python free dot whatever version you have. In my case, I have 11. I'll just be using Python because that's simplest to me. It doesn't matter which one you use, they're all the same, just different names. So Python and in main.py, if you've saved your file, you should get hello world when you press enter. If this is the case, you have successfully installed Python. Well done.